Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I want to have a chat about the fast approaching rework to the Booster Hive. If you're watching this video the day it releases, then that means you only have one day to wait, because TU 10.1 and this rework are coming Tuesday, July 21st. Some of you may be wondering, why am I dedicating an entire video just to this? Well, that's because I believe this change to the booster is going to significantly shift the gameplay and meta of the DZ and PvP in general. We're finally getting a skill that can mitigate and potentially eliminate status effects from a fight, and I think that's a pretty huge deal. Let's dive into it. Alright, in case you haven't used it in a long time, let's take a look at what the current Booster Hive gives you so you guys just get an idea of what they're going to change. So currently, each charge of the Booster Hive gives you uh, efficiency in both weapon damage and weapon handling, and they confirmed on State of the Game also melee damage, no one really knew that, and it, it's probably unnoticeable at 13%, but it does give you that as well. So, with each uh, tier that you go up, it starts at 10% at tier 0, 10% weapon damage, handling, and melee damage. Each tier you go up gives you 1% in each each of those attributes. So at tier 6, you'd be getting 16% weapon damage, handling, and melee damage. Not a very huge amount, and that overcharge, it goes up by a good deal, but in PvP, which is really what we're talking about here, that's non-applicable. So currently, 16% weapon damage and handling at tier 6, if you were to spec all the way into that. And that is what you currently get. With the new booster half, however, you're going to get some pretty insane buffs. So, instead of weapon damage, you're now going to get hazard protection, as well as the weapon handling and the melee damage that it had before. But now, these amounts are going to start 10% like it does now. With each skill tier, however, it goes up by 10%. So, at tier 6, you're going to get 60% hazard, weapon handling, and melee damage. So, that's going to be crazy for some team applications. The weapon handling itself is going to be nuts on LMGs. I mean, ARs and everything else are going to benefit as well well, of course, with the reload speed, but LMGs are the ones that really benefit from that reload bonus, as well as the stability and accuracy. So that's going to be crazy, but hazard is the big deal here because you're finally going to be able to counter status effects with a skill. This is previously, you know, impossible. I mean, healing, of course, works, but you're unable to get any sort of immunity or, you know, counter that out at all. Now, this is going to be the main counter for status and those types of builds. And so, at tier 6, if you have no mods on it, you're going to get 60% hazard, which is not enough to fully counter it, of course. If you have the watch, then that goes up to 70%. But what you can get, and what the devs confirmed on State of the Game, is that you can get up to 90% from your hive from the stim efficiency mods. I have one total. I've tried to craft them over the last few days. I've only gotten one so far, and it's for the... I don't even know what slot this is. But for this bottom left slot, I have one stim efficiency mod. Apparently, you can get them in all three of these slots. And so, with that and tier 6, you would be giving out 90% hazard with each of your charges. And then if they do have it on their watch, you know, your teammates and whoever else, then that would be 100% hazard, and that would counter completely fire, bleed, you know, the riot foam, any of that kind of stuff. So that's a pretty big bonus to think about. And so if you're able to get all of those mods and get it up to 90%, plus, you know, the 10 from the watch if they have it, the big question becomes what kind of things do you want to spec into on your build to fully maximize the potential and the efficiency of this hazard protection buff? And in my opinion, that comes down to skill haste. I have a build, a support build that I've been working on that is pretty much complete for TU 10.1. I'm not going to show it yet here because I want to make a video on it to show it in its full glory with some gameplay and all of that. On that build, I've gotten my refill speed. You can see right there on this current setup, which is just, you know, I have some skill tiers just to show you what it can do. My current refill speed on that support build is 0.6 seconds, which means all of those, you know, I think I have 32 charges on there, 0.6 seconds for each one to come back. And that's pretty good. That's going to mean that you can keep a lot of uptime on that as possible because the big deal with this, similar to the immunizer support station in Division 1, you're going to need to pretty much stay in the radius of the hive in order to get the hazard bonus. Because you can see once those charges go and you see the buff down on my HUD, it only lasts for 5 seconds before you need to reapply, which does happen right away. But it means that if you get that boost and then you run out here and you're trying to fight someone, you're going to lose that hazard buff pretty quickly. And then if someone on their team is running statuses or whatever, they can hit you with it pretty quick. And if you're not in this radius, you're not going to be protected. So you kind of need to fight within this radius and just, you know, stay alive and get those buffs. And so the reason why skill haste is going to be so important is that once this runs out, let's say, you know, it's just at zero, I'm going to destroy it here, you're going to want this to come back as quickly as possible because the enemy team, as soon as they see that hive go down, they're going to know, okay, their hazard buff is gone, say one of them is running Eclipse or whatever, if they get that off on one of you and they kill you, it's GG, you're done. So you want to have as much skill haste as possible so that that uptime on that hive is as high as it possibly can be. I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, probably in the comments that the Jammer Pulse is going to destroy this thing. It is definitely an issue. Um, if you didn't know, they are working on, the, you know, the devs are working on a fix so that higher skill tier skills don't get destroyed by a tier 0 EMP. They just get disabled for a certain amount of time. That's coming into U11, I believe, so we're going to have to wait a bit till that. 
but if you do get taken out by a gym repulse, you're going to get set to zero on these hive charges. And so having that really high skill haste is going to allow you to get those charges back that much faster so you can keep your team alive and, you know, protected from stasis and all of that. I would say it would probably also benefit from some duration, but considering your team is probably going to be eating away those charges every five seconds, you're probably not going to have to worry about duration too much beyond the base duration, which is about a minute. You know, I wouldn't spec into it too much if you want to do one or two piece Murakami, that would probably help out. Um, but yeah, skill haste is what you're going to want to primarily spec into and focus on getting everywhere possible on your build. And like I said, I have a build video coming for that. So stay tuned for those first few days after TU 10.1 drops to see that. You'll see where I can get it on all of my different pieces. So that about does it guys on a recap of everything you should know going into tomorrow's PvP and game wide changes. I'm personally very excited for this booster rework. I think it's going to bring a lot more fairness and counterplay into the mix as well as allowing you to specialize in some awesome team buffs so that's going to be great thank you all so much for watching i hope this helped you guys gain some knowledge and prepare for these changes if so be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you never miss when i upload leave any questions or thoughts on the subject in the comments below and get hyped for tomorrow guys the update is right around the corner be sure to keep an eye out for my booster and team support build video that i mentioned earlier that should be coming soon in these next few days i hope you guys all have a fantastic day stay safe out there and until the next one guys rogue gold out